Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Sun King. Uh, and today we are going to do a really delicious lavash tartine uh, with a whole bunch of stuff, uh, featuring, of course, practical magic. So practical magic is a super delicious sour blonde ale aged with blueberries, uh, cardamom, and juniper. So it's gonna kind of have that uh, wonderful gin characteristic, uh, a little bit of tartness, and of course, all of that beautiful fruit flavor uh, and natural herbaceousness uh, from everything that's going on in there. We are going to use it to pickle some vegetables along with a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's get started. Uh, lavash, uh, if you're not familiar, uh, beautiful flatbread, uh, works well just as a wrap, uh, but we are going to crisp it up with just a little bit of olive oil and salt. We're gonna bake that in an oven at 325 degrees for just about six to eight minutes until it's nice and crispy uh, and a perfect vehicle for everything else that we're going to do today. So we wanna take one of these beautiful lavash. There are five in the package. You can cook them all up or do them individually. Uh, and we're just gonna cut ours into corner just so they're nice and easy for everyone to eat. Um, we will place these just on a sheet pan. Uh, we're gonna drizzle each with just about a half teaspoon of olive oil. Uh, and then we will lightly brush that oil over the whole surface. That way everybody is nice and crispy. Also helps our salt stick a little. And then we'll sprinkle each with a little bit of our beautiful Portuguese sea salt. Uh, and then these go into a 325 degree oven for just about six to eight minutes until they're perfectly crispy. Uh, and then we'll move on to a nice little spread. Oh, crispy. Bum, ba -da -bum. So while those lavash are cooling, uh, we don't wanna hit them with a whole bunch of stuff while they're still hot. We wanna let those cool. Uh, we wanna make a nice little spread. Uh, this is just kind of the, uh, the creamy thing that holds everything together. We're gonna use about eight ounces of sour cream, four ounces of room temperature cream cheese. This will be very important. That way your spread is not lumpy. Uh, and then just a couple tablespoons of everything bagel spice. You can pretty much find it anywhere these days. Uh, it's just got all of the delicious things in it, sesame and onion and garlic. Uh, but we want that to kind of just give our spread uh, a nice little herbal uh, flavor and just a little bit of texture. So uh, just in a mixing bowl, we've got eight ounces of sour cream. Uh, you can use low fat if you want. Uh, we're going full fat today just because we're not going to use a ton on our lavash. Four ounces of this really great Organic Valley cream cheese. And this just gives it a little bit of fullness. Sour cream lightens it up just a little bit. So we gotta, we kind of get both great textures. Uh, and then we've got our bagel spice. So again, uh, it's just got a little bit of everything in there. Uh, sesame, black sesame, garlic, onion, uh, just a little bit of salt. Uh, so we'll pour that in next, just a couple tablespoons. You can eyeball it. Uh, you can add as much or as little as you want, but we want, uh, want it definitely for some texture and some really great flavor. Uh, and then we'll just give this a mix, make sure everything is well combined and that cream cheese has been fully incorporated and make the mac and cheese sound. Super easy peasy. And then we'll move on to our pickles. So uh, we've got beautifully crispy lavash. We've got a nice creamy spread. Uh, now we need a little bit of acidity. Uh, so we are going to make a pickle uh, and that's where our beer comes in. So we've got three different kinds of vegetables. You can obviously use whatever you like. Uh, you can do cauliflower, you can do fennel, uh, really whatever catches your fancy. To start, we've got these really beautiful purple carrots. Uh, if you've never seen a purple carrot, this is what it looks like. Uh, beautiful purple on the outside, nice golden center. Uh, that's also gonna provide some really beautiful color to our pickle as well. Uh, we've got some red onion and some cucumber, and then we're going to do a nice hot pickling liquid. Uh, so that will just be some water, a little bit of red wine vinegar, our practical magic golden sour ale, uh, and then a little bit of salt, sugar, and some pickling spice. You can definitely find that anywhere in your grocery store. Uh, it'll already come mixed. It's got a little bit of everything in it, some bay, allspice, cinnamon, uh, a little bit of chili, just, it's kind of this perfect uh, amalgamation of everything uh, and it'll go perfectly with everything else. So to start our pickle, uh, we wanna take some nice thinly shaved uh, cucumber. You can either do this by hand or on a mandolin, that's totally up to you. We did it by hand today for a nice little rustic, so you'll get some really cool textures. Uh, and then these are our purple carrots. Again, thinly sliced as well. They'll still provide a really nice crunch, um, but they'll also give off just a little bit of their color. Last but not least, just a little bit of red onion. Uh, again, we like that uh, texture, uh, that little bit of sharpness. Pickled onions are super delicious, uh, especially with everything else that we have going on. So we're just gonna gently mix these together and kind of break everything up. That way it's nice and well combined. Uh, and then into some cleaned and sanitized uh, glass jars. We're gonna just pack everything in there. Uh, and you wanna do this kind of, you know, you can fit quite a bit in there. Uh, if it doesn't feel like it's filling up, go ahead and just kind of pack it in a little harder just because it will 
the vegetables will shrink uh, as soon as the pickling liquid hits. Uh, and the, the less room in there, uh, the better. Uh, that way you'll have, you know, super delicious pickles. We just kind of pack that down, just right underneath the lip there. So we will let these sit, uh, and then we will make our pickling liquid. So just in a uh, small saucepan, we have 16 ounces of water, four ounces of red wine vinegar, and then eight ounces of our Practical Magic. To that, we're gonna dissolve six ounces of sugar, and this will obviously provide the sweet to our sour. Uh, and then as well, just a half ounce of our pickling spice and one ounce of Diamond Crystal Kosher Salt, all mixed together. We will bring that to a simmer, uh, and once it is uh, brought to a boil and all of the solids have dissolved, we will gently, of course, uh, pour that hot liquid over our raw vegetables, give it a seal, uh, toss it in the refrigerator for at least eight hours, up to a couple of days. Uh, so to make these tartines, uh, we've got our toasted lavash, uh, just about a tablespoon or so of our spread. And obviously add as much or as little as this as you want, but we would definitely want a nice place for our fish and everything else to stick. And then we've got some of our beautiful pickles that I did earlier. And as you can see, not only the beer, um, but the carrots have also given up a little bit of their color. Try to keep the ears out of there. And then we're gonna go in with just a little bit of our fish. Uh, and this is some really beautiful trout that's been cured in olive oil and dill. Uh, so beautiful sustained seafood, sustainable seafood. Uh, and we can just crumble this up right out of the can. This is really gorgeous stuff. Uh, that little bit of dill is gonna go really nice with everything. Uh, and you can actually reserve that olive oil uh, for a later use if you'd like. That there. Uh, and then of course, just some fresh chives. I love that beautiful green finish. And that's all she wrote. You can even do miniature versions of these for party if you want. Uh, you can do a really giant one and just go hog wild on the thing. Uh, and I'll build a couple more and we'll wrap things up. Look at on there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So our beer is poured and that wraps up our recipe for today. Beautiful, crispy lavash tartines with all of those wonderful, beautiful ingredients. Uh, as always, we want to thank all of you uh, for following along. Uh, those like and subscribe buttons are still down there, especially if you're on the YouTube. Go to YouTube. Go. Go there right now. We want to thank our friends here at the Signature Table at the beautiful Fisher's Test Kitchen. Uh, and as always, our great friends from Green Bean Delivery. Uh, if you want those recipes, go to the blog, greenbeandelivery.com slash blog. All of the links that are super important are currently underneath me, uh, right down here. Uh, we hope you enjoy this recipe. We'll see you next time. Cheers.